CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing. Television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. Oh, yeah. On this episode of Florida Sport Fishing. Floater, we got a grouper. I mean, that's what you call grocery shopping right oh, there. Yeah. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Lingren Pittman, purpose-built, high-capacity 12 and 24 volt electric deep drop, dredge and daytime swordfish reels. Number one in design, ease of use, reliability and power. Motor guide, precise maneuverability equals better fishing. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Hi, and welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. I'm Captain Mike, and we've got a great show in store for you. We're heading out early tomorrow morning. Captain Carlos, myself, a close friend of mine, Kyle Shea, we're jumping aboard our mercury-powered CV390Z, heading across the Gulf Stream right to West End, Grand Bahama Island. It's gonna be a great adventure. We're gonna check in at Old Bahama Bay, Customs and Immigration, work our way over to Blue Marlin Cove Resort and Marina, our absolute favorite lodge throughout the islands. They've got well-appointed rooms, all of the amenities that you need, ice, clean fuel, and a very secure marina that's easy to get in and out of, something that's very important. More importantly, it's a hub for fantastic fishing. You can run south into the channel and look for yellowfin tuna and blackfin tuna. You could fish right out front, fish the reef for mutton snappers and strawberry groupers, or of course you can go deep dropping, and that's exactly how we're gonna start our trip. We're looking for trophy size queen snapper. Hopefully we find some groupers mixed in as well. We're gonna be fishing some numbers that are about 40 or 50 miles away from Blue Marlin Cove, up around the corner. So we've got a lot of riding ahead of us here, but I'll tell you what, I know it's gonna be worth it. Real important when you're heading over to the, high, to the islands, Preparation is key for a successful trip to the Bahamas. When it comes to deep drop, and I'm just putting some final touches on all of my deep drop rigs, make sure you've got plenty. Always expect the unexpected. You're gonna lose some rigs to sharks. You may get hung up in the bottom. Don't go to the Bahamas with one deep drop rig. As far as tackle is concerned, of course, we're bringing a pair of LPs. We're gonna be doing some hardcore deep dropping in 1,000 to 1,600 feet of water, but we're also gonna be doing some jigging, of course, we're gonna have some spinning tackle on board. You never know what you're gonna come across. And that's the key to an absolutely fantastic island adventure is properly being prepared. I cannot stress that enough. So stick around, let's see if we get hooked up. So Mike, you're supposed to just let keep the rod, the rod do the work. pointed down. You know what I'm saying? And let crank. the reel do the work. You know, just use that reel. You don't really lift too much. Don't lift too much. No, never high stick it. Just like what you're doing right there is perfect. The thing about it is such a mystery because you don't know. No right idea. Your jig, you know, there it is. Rainbow? What is that? Oh, that's a big yellow jack. Big one. Good eating, right? Yeah, good eating. Slack off a little. Nice job. There he is. Beautiful fish. That's a beautiful fish, dude. Look at that. Look at the color. Right? Isn't that incredible? And look, he just slammed that jig. Yep. Unlike a lot of the other jacks, like the Amber Jacks and the Almacos, this Yellow Jack is one of the better eaten jacks. Really, really good for sashimi. Really? Really good for sashimi. Love that jack. So this guy is definitely going on ice. Right there, right outside of Blue Marlin Cove, West End, Grand Bahama. I can't get over those colors. I know, just absolutely gorgeous. Just got here today. We're going to be spending a couple days here looking for tuna. Whoa, hey, 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 hey now. Let's get that oh, out of wow. yep looking for tunas, doing some deep dropping, but decided to just spend a couple hours coming right out front to do some slow pitch jigging right on the reef. And that's what you can catch right there, one of so many different species that'll eat those jigs. Everything. Everything. And that's what the, you know, really the trick is when you come out here to the Bahamas, you know, don't come out with just one plan. Ooh, you know, you've got to have plan A, plan B, plan C. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what the conditions are going to be like. Be ready for everything. That's how you maximize on these trips to make sure that you have a great time. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go?
It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT char plotter, Navnet TZ Touch. Fiberglass, they use it to build boats and yachts because of its strength and durability. And that's exactly what every frigid rigid cooler is made out of. This is my set after 12 years and I keep them outdoors with industrial grade rubber gasket and stainless steel hinges with backing plates. Not a single component has failed on any of them. Can you honestly say that about your coolers? From 35 to 300 quarts, there's a frigid rigid cooler, coffin box or freezer for every boat. Just got set up here deep dropping. We're way up around the corner, about 30 miles from West End, all the way up. A little bit breezy, a little choppy, but we're gonna make lemonade. So just dropped on our first set of numbers, about 1,000 foot, 1,020. You know, and again, look at that. Toot, toot, toot. That's the cool thing about deep dropping you don't know what you're gonna bring up. We're looking for queen snappers, that would be ideal. But really with these conditions that we weren't really expecting, we're not gonna be picky. You know, you gotta make the best of it when you come out here to the islands. Fishing an LP, couple of LPs, on some chaos deep drop rods. Just fish and squint for bait. 10 pounds of lead. And that's it, you know, and the key with deep dropping out here, of course, is structure. There's so much territory, you just don't know where to fish. You know, you've got to get a good set of numbers and then work your way off of that. You know, do, do some investigating, put in the time, look for your own set. Or it's a grouper, he's floating. Little grouper. Yeah. A little grouper, yeah. It'd be nice if you put us on him, Cap. There he is. No. A little silky. A little, oh, it's a yellow eye. That's not a bad yellow eye either. No. Not a bad one at all. Nope. Not a monster, but we'll take it. Not a bad first fish. Oh, no. <sighs> Barely had him hooked. Look at that. Yep. To the bottom there. Yellow eye snapper. All right, let's get back on top. Bahama of special. Pro's tip brought to you by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear. Kind of working this area here, what I'm looking for, there's some little drop offs there, some humps, some hills. And you can see by using your chart plotter here, following your track in correlation with the Furuno sounder, you can clearly see those bottom contours. You can see those hills that are falling off, little cliffs. That right there is probably about 70 foot, you know, a 70 foot ledge. Think about that. I and mean, that's a big piece of structure down there that's going to hold a variety of different crustaceans and forage species and bait and certainly a variety of snappers and groupers as well. Doesn't mean they're always going to bite, but that's where they're going to be. You know, you don't want to be out here fishing open bottom. So make sure that you're dialed in with your electronics. These Furuno TZ touchscreens are just absolutely awesome. 
All the information you need is right at your fingertips, 3D, 2D. I mean, like I said, they just it's almost unfair. It really is, it's almost unfair. You can zoom all the way in, see exactly what you're doing, but pay attention. You know, I think that's the most important thing that I can tell you is pay attention to every single drift. Did you get any bites? Where did you get bites? How deep were you? What direction were you drifting in? You know, it's not just drop the rig to the bottom and hope for the best. It's, you're really gonna get out of it what you put into it when it comes to this deep water, deep dropping, you know, off the Bahamas here or anywhere. So get dialed in and get hooked up. I would say it's a little, like a little- Maybe a little five queen? queen, yeah. If I had to guess, I mean. Now you've been fishing here, Kyle, in the Bahamas. How long have you been coming here? Crossing over 10 here. years. 10 eight years, eight, eight years. years. Hundreds of trips. Lots. Tuna fishing, Too deep many. dropping, wahoo fishing, yeah. the, whole, the whole gamut. Yeah, it depends on what time of the year. Now, let me ask you, where in the Bahamas is your favorite it's place to go? Uh, my favorite place, wherever the fish are biggest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like uh, usually West End or Bimini. West End or Bimini. More than, more often Easily than accessible, not you know what I mean? I mean, relatively speaking, for Absolutely. most guys. Right. We're getting close. Did he grow? There he is. Yeah, there he is. Are we right? Queen. That is a queen. Yeah, it's a nice not queen. Not a bad queen. We'll take it. Look at that. Five pound queen, what I tell you. I don't know if you we'll nailed go. it, dude. I don't know if we'll go five yeah, pounds. Yeah, not five pounds. But either way, it's a queen. <laughs> it's, it's a, a little sandwich. princess. We got a sandwich. God, they're so beautiful. They, they are. They pink are goldfish. Absolutely beautiful. I definitely like West End. The West access End. to come north or to go Because there's so many different channel. options. Like exactly. you're saying, you can come up yep. here like we did today, you know, 30 to 50 miles up around yep. the corner. Certainly, you could fish in the channel, which we're going to do before this trip is over. Mm -hmm. You could fish right out front on the reef and do some jig fishing or grouper fishing. So there's just so much to do. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy in. You got the lead? Nice. And you can see this that was, thing a, up good. That was a neat little trick that you did right there. Took a extra light, Put stuck it, it right on the lead right there. Fishing's a little... A little bit tough, so I'm figuring a little bit more. Just a, a little bit more light. Try anything. And exactly. Just it a, worked. And sometimes that's all it takes is just that little difference to attract a little bit more attention. Beautiful little fish. Neat move right there. Pretty. Look how the fin just sinks in. I don't know if that to me means they migrate a lot. They got a channel in there for the fin to go in. Pretty beautiful fish. Great eating. Love it. Put that one on ice. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. Boats get dirty, that's a fact. Thankfully, Rejuvenate Marine uses patented nanotechnology to make your boat cleaning faster and easier, literally cutting your cleaning time in half. Watch this. With highly concentrated biodegradable ingredients across their complete line of cleaning and care products, Rejuvenate Marine lasts longer while providing professional cleaning power that's safe for all surfaces and for the environment. Get your free sample at rejuvenatemarine.com. It's your turn to score big. Book a long range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. Fish virgin waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. 
now sailing from Key West year-round. There. You can see that rod. Look at him, he's digging. Oh, buddy. Take a line now. Take a line. Take a line. I like it. He's there. I'm hoping it's a grouper. That's what I really want. I'll take anything. I'm not greedy. There is life down there, though. The Bahamas never disappoint. So much life here, it's incredible. Especially when you make the run that we did. We're out in the middle of the ocean, pretty much. I haven't seen a boat the whole time we're out here. Remember guys, I'm adjusting this drag as I'm fighting this fish because you got eight pounds of lead, okay? You got two to three foot, a little bumpy out here right now. And the boat rocking, so there's a lot of factors. So you gotta kind of adjust for that with the drag. If not, you're gonna wear out a big hole in his mouth pretty much. And that's how you lose the fish. Gear Guide, brought to you by Diamond Fishing, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line. I'll tell you, when you're doing this kind of deep dropping, the real hardcore kind of stuff in a thousand plus feet of water, there's nothing that beats that Lingren Pittman S1200. There really isn't. It's a I mean, muscle horse. Dude, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's the Mac Daddy yeah. of deep drop reels. You know, if you're going to do some stuff shallower, anywhere from, you know, 500 to 800 feet, we fish a lot of the Daiwa Tanacoms. We get away with those. You know, even up to 900 plus, chasing golden tiles and things like that. But when you're here in the Bahamas, the thing is out here in 1,200 feet, you never know. You know, you can catch a huge grouper, a 50 to 100 pound grouper, even larger. So you've gotta be ready for that. You know, you've gotta be ready for that one bite that could make such a difference. And that's the right reel, right there. That's the right reel. You stop in the reel, man. That's a good right, time. Take your time. I like yep. that. I'm optimistic because once you get that one fish to bite, chances are you're going to catch more. You know, they're either all biting or they're not biting, and sometimes they won't bite. You know, we talked about that a little bit earlier on how the current plays a role with that. But if you get one to chew, oftentimes you'll get other fish to eat as well. There, you, what do you think? This is a queen? I'm hoping it's a queen. I'm you hoping know. it's a grouper, honestly. I'm <laughs> hoping it's a, I don't care what it is. Yeah, it's something you know, that's alive down there. Got him on. You got him on, got another one in the back there Double. too. You know, we're Double far up away now. from home. We've come a oh, really, yeah, really long way. And I'll tell you what, it's not a matter of if it's a grouper or a snapper. Truthfully, yeah. I don't care. I just want to catch the fish. You know, really do. So Kyle, he's got one on toward the stern there. He's also fishing the LP S1200, but the difference is that's Lingren Pittman's new S1200 with a variable speed control. And that's really a nice feature to be able to control that retrieval rate. Sometimes you want to bring it up slow, sometimes you want to bring it up fast. Whereas the standard model, it's pretty much on or off. You're either retrieving or you're not. So that's really the only two, or the only difference between the two reels. Same spool, same motor, same housing, same power, same great reel. That one just has that added benefit of the variable speed. Nice and easy. Coming up. Floater. Ooh. See, because that's a nice fish. Grouper. It is a grouper. Misty grouper, a baby. Woo! Woo! That's dinner. Nice size. Nice one. All right. Yeah, watch the lead. Yep, watch yep, the lead, yep. dude. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Hang on. Just take our time. Go that way. Yeah, go go yeah. towards the camera. Okay. Slap okay. off a little bit on the line. I got you. Go ahead. Okay. You yep. Lift the fish up. You grab. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold yep. on, hold on. Got it? No, oh, not yet. Oh, you got the. I got it. Yeah. Tail wrap. There we go. All right. Nice job. You know, again. 
We were just talking about why it's so important to fish the heavier duty tackle. You don't know what's you, down you there. You don't know what's down there. Right. You know, this is not the biggest grouper that's down there. Yeah, but look at the teeth on that thing, oh, dude. Crazy. It's got like rows of nastiness. All right, there we go. He does. Look at that. that rows is just, of nastiness. That dude. is an absolute. There we, we go. The, I got the guy. Got it? Yep. Eating machine. Yep. Right there. I mean, look at that. Look at the eyes all bugged out. And you can see all of the scales and how rough the skin is. And that's from the pressure change. That's from that fish coming up from so deep. The pressure change is what causes all of those scales to pop off. He causes the, those eyes to pop out like that, to bug out. The tail is what's cool about right. these things. I love that Such white. Such a powerful fish. Tail. Look at that. It's gnarly. And I mean, you got you to just look at that mouth right there. I mean, that's an eating machine. Right there, anything that that thing, look, you can see those teeth are pointed back. So anything that that eats, anything that it grabs is never coming out of its mouth. Awesome. That'll work. Awesome. That'll work. Good way to start. Good way to start. I'll take yes, that. Yes, it is. All right. Let's put this guy down. We'll go back there, see what we got coming up back there. Florida Sport Fishing is the number one magazine for resident and visiting anglers. Each giant issue is packed with informative editorials, easy to follow illustrations, and tips to keep you hooked up. Subscribe today and I'll deliver the magazine to your home for only four cents a day. Visit fsftv.com right now and I'll also include a hat, unlimited access to Florida Sport Fishing Digimag for your tablet and phone, and a special gift to keep you cool on and off the water. on the jig. Woo! That's Grouper Dynamo. Yeah! How's that for a sea monster? Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. The secret's out. Now you can show off a great catch with a trophy smile for a fraction of the cost. Vacation in Costa Rica and complete all of your cosmetic and restorative dental needs. Minutes from San Jose, Top Dental Care's ultra-modern facility utilizes the latest technology and only FDA-approved materials. U.S. trained doctors specialize in dental implants, dentures, bridges, crowns, and veneers. And don't forget about family and friends. At Top Dental Care Costa Rica, you don't have to make a great catch to show off a trophy smile. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses VMC Coastal Black Hooks, engineered to withstand saltwater. Taco Marine, official outrigger system of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Boat Outfitters, a huge selection of tackle storage systems to keep you organized and your lines tight. Salt Life Optics, anti-glare Zeiss lenses, provide on parallel protection and polarization. 140. He's fighting all the way up. I don't know. Really weird. Back, yeah. What's up? Back, yeah. Really shaking his head now. I think we're going to be doing that drift over again, boys. I'm hoping queen. I'm hoping queen. Here it comes. It's another grouper, isn't it? It's another grouper. Um, uh, no. No? No. You got a little red? Is that a shark behind him? That's, that's a nice queen. That's, that's a nice, nice queen. queen. Oh, beautiful that's a beautiful queen. 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 Big queen. Oh, that's a donkey. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> All right. Look at that. That's, that's a nice queen. That's a beautiful queen. Look at that. That is a trophy queen snapper. From 1,200 wow. feet. Yeah, <laughs> that's Western. what we're looking for. Grand Bahama. Love them. Love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got him, baby. You pull out the lead, too. You got the lead? Yeah. <laughs> that is a monster queen snapper. Beautiful queen snapper. That's a Bahamas lunker. So, look, see all the, the hard bottom stuff on the lead? We're fishing hard bottom there. So all that yep. shell yep. and it's hard rock bottom right there. Rock, coral, whatever it may be, and the bottom of the web. Belly coming out. Yeah. 
Look at that. Good job, Beautiful buddy. Fish. <laughs> Beautiful fish. I mean, he is, sir. Oh, queens don't get much bigger than that. They don't. I mean, they don't. Absolutely. Average beautiful. one's what, seven pounds? Right? Yeah. Six pounds. Yeah, that's a solid fish right there. I mean, there. just that's the, the colors, that, that's yeah. gotta be one of the prettiest fish on the ocean. And they taste as good as they look. <laughs> Absolutely. So good. Yeah. Hey, let's get a shot of double you guys with your queen and your grouper. Yeah. Let's go ahead and grab them, Carlos. That's beautiful. That's what we're looking for. Got it? Yep. That's what we're looking for. What do you think? 15? 15? Yep. Over here. That's a, I mean, nice a work. Tail, girthy, happy fish. Nice work. Same cool. drift, double on the two deep drop rods, okay? Trophy size queen snapper, beautiful grouper. I mean, that's what you call grocery shopping right <laughs> oh, there. Yeah. Good food, is he? For just yeah, joining us, again, we're about cold. 50 miles up around the corner from West End. Beautiful. Came a long way and I've worked really hard to find this good bottom up here. And I'll tell you what, it's paying off right now. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.